Hey everybody, Joel Norton here, and today I'm trying something a little bit different. So um, I've been throwing around this idea for a little bit, but not sure how to execute it. So we're just going to just try it out, and then you guys can tell me what you think, and if you like it, or what I could do to better. So I started a playlist called Discover New Punk. Um, and it is quite a few different genres of punk. I just kind of listed a few of them off that I'm familiar with. And I created a playlist. Everything in this playlist is less than a year old. So I will maintain this playlist and make sure that it continues to get new songs added to it. And, um, that everything in the playlist is less than a year old. And I'm going to have a couple of these uh, playlists for different genres. Um, but this one is one we're going to concentrate on today. My kind of idea here is that as I add stuff to a playlist, I could update you guys every few weeks on what I'm adding or what I'm taking out of the playlist and why. If I'm not feeling something anymore or if it, you know, so on and so forth. Um, cause it's not all, it's not only going to be just new stuff. Not only is it going to be new, I'm also going to curate a little bit towards my tastes. So that could be a little scary. Not everything in here is going to be like, I love, but I at least think everything's over average that's in this playlist. So with that out of the way, you guys, like I said, you can let me know what you think I could do better here. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing today is just kind of going through. I have 57 songs in here and just kind of uh, going through one by one and explaining why it's in here and what I'm thinking about it, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. So for the first one, we have Suicide by Pig. Oh, my gosh, um, which is a co-defendant song. Let me tweak the volume here. Me and uh, Chuck have checked out quite a few of these. Uh, four songs by these guys. <clears throat> I've considered suicide by police. I do it myself, but I'm far too angry. And that's the way these things gotta be. For now. Uh. And when that time comes, you'll know because you've become a widow. So I just really like the flow of this um, lyrics. I don't really connect with the lyrics, but in my head, it's like, <clears throat> you know, there's like a joke that, uh, Middle-aged dads, like, drive to Rite Aid to get Tums medicine um, while listening to gangster rap. That's kind of my opinions on this song. <laughs> I, uh, I I love it. I've been singing along with this. It's probably one of my favorite songs right now. Um, the whole flow is just very unique. And, um, yeah, it, it, it just, I don't know, something about it. it just, it hits different. If that makes any sense. So that's one of them that's in there. The next one's Bully, Days Move Slow. And now this is a little bit more in that punk rock area. So it's not exactly punk, but there's some grittiness there. I really like it. And um, yeah, play a little bit from this. So 
this one, um, like I said, is definitely more of the punk rock area, and I'm using Genre Finder. So if there's a band that I'm like, man, this kind of could be punk, I will put it in there. And if it comes up punk rock, then yes, it's going to fit in the in this. Now I'm not going to drown the list in something you know a similar style to this, uh, because I actually want to have some real punk stuff in here. But like I think this is a good uh, kind of gives me a kind of what I grew up listening to on the radio a little bit, but a little bit grittier with her vocals, and it's also indie. So, you know, DIY, in my opinion, is partially punk. So, I uh, I do dig this one a lot. This is another one that I've been jamming a whole lot to. So, I really like this one. I'm going to go to the next one here, which is Menzinger's Bad Actors. This just has a great flow. Just... Mm, it just has a really nice smooth flow really enjoying this one right now as well and um again like i said if i do more episodes of this it'll basically be i'll be reporting what i've added and removing so you won't get repeat updates like oh hey we're listening to this again and again and again. No, it'll just be, you're going to hear this little snippet here and me talk about it a little bit. And then the next, I don't know what you would call these episode. Um, it would be new stuff that I've added to the list. And then I would ignore this portion of the list. So just to be clear, and I'm just going by uh, kind of like a random how it was added. So the next one, Sammy, Samium crystallized. Mm, this just hits different. Just really love the vibe that this one puts off. It hits different. I don't know. I like it. Um, this band, this one's a newer one that I found, and I just kind of discovered this on Spotify on like artists you might like, and I clicked and opened it up and happened to have a new album out. So I dived into this album a little bit and hopefully there'll be an album reveal review soon from the, for, from me for this band. Um, And then bam. Mm. Just really like the flow. Love the lyrics of this as well. Yeah, for a small band, I mean, they're they're uh, they have a great sound. Um, and there's a couple songs by these guys in the list. I'm trying not to go anything over three or four songs from a band in the list. <clears throat> So if I add, let's say I have three songs by a band in the list and I decide to add another one, I'll remove one. Or if it's over four or whatever, I I decide there. But I just don't want it to be swamped with entire albums. Um, I just want to give you guys a taste of what I'm enjoying off of an album and then you guys can, you know, do the rest. Just knowing that there's a new album out, you guys can go from there. Um, And also, I should have mentioned, too, that some of these were reactions that I did with Chuck. Um... But others we never reacted to. Basically, we kind of came to a, a realization that we're not going to be able to keep up with new music. So I was like, I kind of wanted. To, I've had this idea for a little bit. So I was like, might be a good, uh, good uh, thing to try out. So yeah, the newer stuff Chuck has not heard, um, and uh, the stuff if it comes out an album, I'm going to try to review it. I'm going to try my best to review it. I feel like I'm not very good with the reviewing thing, but I, I'm going to try. 
I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get better at it. That's what I'm going for. So, yes, and Clayface is a newer band that I discovered. I'm really enjoying this this album so far. Um, yeah. Hey, every once in a few months when all the punches land. Obviously, this made it into my top 10 last year. Great tune. And um, there is not a whole lot of Frank Turner on here just because his album, while some of them are a little more upbeat and had a little more punk rhythm, a lot of them did not. And so far that we've got, so far, we're only halfway through reacting to this album. But uh, so I put it like one or two in there, maybe three. It, we'll see here, I guess, in a little bit when I go through. Um, also, I would like like to know if you guys prefer me just to go through and list, like do select ones and break down or verbally break down each one and not actually play the music. Or if you prefer me to play the entire song. That'd be another thing to, to figure out here. We've heard that one because that's in my top 10. Here's another one. Uh, new Drop Kicks off their last album that came out last year. Um, this one just, it's not really punky, but, you know, it's Drop Kick. Sounds pretty good. New Floggy Molly. This came out last year as well. Saw these guys alive and phenomenal. So good. We used to look ahead to times that we're now looking back on all the moments started on the map. Southern California. How can you not like that? How can you not like that melody? Sounds so good. This is this like ideal skate punk that I'm looking for. It's my favorite genre so far of punk. Um I'm I've got a review coming out for this as well soon. But yes, solid. Anti-Flag, I know the punk community likes Anti-Flag, but their music, their newer music, is kind of like, ugh, to a lot of people. Now, there are like three Anti-Flag songs on here currently, but some of those might drop off. But this song particularly got stuck in my head after I saw them live. And they tear shit up live. They're great. They really have a punk punk show for sure. But this song was just very catchy to me. Work and struggle for life. It just has a good flow to it. So that's in here. This is like one of the few folk punk songs that I have in here actually. Um, but it has kind of a distortion sound to the instruments. So it kind of comes off a little like a little more fitting for a punk album or playlist, excuse me. This uh, just I think it's March eighth that this came out. Um, yeah, I have two AJJ songs on here, and both of them are kind of semi fitting, at least whether it be lyrically or sounding, um, a little bit more in that punk direction that rather than folk punk. Uh, but it's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. This is a newer band, and this is technically pop punk, but they have a, they just have a, they have a sound that I felt it would fit well with the punk list. It's another really smaller band. I don't know how to nice flow, and I felt like it was fitting. But uh, this is possible that this drops off of this uh, of this playlist if it doesn't match up real well, or people don't think it fits. Um, I'll move it over to the pop punk, but it sounded rather the vocals, especially, just kind of gave me a nice punk vibe, whereas maybe the instrumental was a little bit more of that uh, pop punkish feel, but not even like a not even like a bubbly pop punk. It's more of a like, uh, I don't know, kind of gave me a uh, strung out uh, Exile of Oblivion album vibes a little bit, just a little bit, not as complex, obviously, but still, you know, had that kind of vibe to it. So I was like, you know, if that's punk, this could probably fit in there. New No Effects. 
Came out last year, December. This one, this one might not stay in this list just because um, it is not really punk. I, it's on the new Bottle for Mu- Bottle Music for Broken People album, but realistically, it is rather soft, but it is a hard-hitting, Teenager lyrically... A very, um, very strong lyrically, a very powerful song. So I put this in there just for a little bit of a change up. And I felt like, well, it could probably, you know, fit in a folk punk area, but those vocals might be a little too clean. So we'll see how long that lasts in there as well. Abscess was another uh, co-defendant song we just checked out. Great flow to that song. So this is it. Gonna drop. No now this was a Patreon request that we reacted and reviewed. Um, this album is a little bit older, uh, like early last year. So this probably won't be in the playlist super long, but man, it has a really good feel to it. So that's definitely, <clears throat> definitely punk feeling. Banger of a song. Banger of a song. Here's one of the other anti-flag songs, Fight for Our Lives, featuring Tim. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but it's the lead singer of Rise Against. Um, Brian Baker, Bad Religion. This one's been really good. I really enjoy this one. Just has a nice. Mm, great punk rock song. Another no effect song off their last album. What I need to do. Really dig, digging this one as well. This is a newer song that we reacted to. There's another one on here by that band as well. Non serving. This is what definitely more punk Frank Turner song. Definitely fitting, if you ask me, for a newer punk list. Bad Business, another co-defendant song. This one. Just love his vocals. Really good. Nowhere. Hey, he's wearing a Sammy M shirt. That's awesome. Being from Ohio, this one hits. It, it hits. Been up again. Another cigar song. This is another Have No Heroes song. And if you guys are worried that it might be a little too not diverse enough, that will change as I dive more and more into newer punk that's coming out. So no worries there. It'll get uh, diversified as we go. Another Vlogging Molly song. This one's just really catchy. Batwolf is another small band that I found, and it just uh, has a nice little sound to it. Nice short two minutes off. Now I feel like this adds a nice little uh, mix up for the album, but this one could get a little repetitive. So we'll see see how that one stays in there. A new one by Knife Club. I like this one. Oh, 
Oh, I'm digging this one. Mm, it just has a really good flow and melody to it. To it. Love it. New Bouncing Souls. Mm, so good. Another co-defendant song. By now, you can always... See here. All right, Defcons, Defcons, Defcons. All right. Uh, Borrowed Time by Clayface. That's another one off that new album. Like I said, this album dropped. Let's see. April 1st, so just recently. Mm. Another good one. Uh, no Future by The Mess. This off bottle music for broken people. Open Roads by Rehasher. This is also just recently new. December 2nd. So, just got lucky enough to find that one because one of our uh, Patreons requested a... Uh, uh, the song Lift by them, and I saw they came out with a new song. I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, Damage Done by Fake Names. This is an interesting one. Um, it's got Brian Baker. Let's see here. Brian Baker of Minor Threat, Bad Religion. Uh, Michael Hampton of SOA. Uh, it's got Dennis from Refused. Uh... Johnny Temple from Girls Against Boys, Soulside. Brendan Canty from Fugazi. Got a nice lineup. And it sounds pretty damn good, too. Uh, Floggy Molly's newest song, Till the Anarchy is Restored. Um, Anti Fantasy by No Trigger, which is pretty fun. This one comes off a little more pop punk, though. So we'll see what people think. If that's a little too pop punk, I might move that to the pop punk list that I also have. We'll talk about that later, though. Laugh, cry, smile, die. This one um, is good, but that might drop off as it gets uh, as we get a little more punk music in here. Um, we reacted to that, so if you want to see a reaction of that, you can check it out. Myopic Drug Church. This was just at the bottom of my Spotify list. It's on the recommended things, and uh, it has a nice... a nice flow to it in general another cigar song in armor another bat wolf song no, I don't wanna be forever bruise control their new song I believe this came out March 17th So we have a nice nice mix up of punk on here. So I think that's pretty pretty cool. Uh 10 stories high off the new bouncing uh souls album uh with the side of apathy also off the clayface album. Uh My Bad by Frank Turner through the teeth which is another brutal used song. Again, like going forward, if you guys want me to play the entire song and do more of a like a radio thing, I can do that. But right now, there's quite a few songs in there, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just kind of playing little bits of the ones that I'm not really super familiar with, but I'm still enjoying. Um, so yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think about that. I'm I'm still kind of unsure. I would love to do this live, but unfortunately, you can't do live. Um, you can't listen to music a lot on live because they'll just block your thing from what I at least from what I read up on it. Um, but that would be the best because I could interact with you guys and kind of play to show you guys what I have in the list. So, but you can't always get what you want. 
this one, I don't know if it'll stay in here. It's Yeah, I'm not sure if this will stay in here or not. I'm on the on the on the edge with this one. It's got like I think kind of that hip hop influence. Sounds like maybe some electric beats instead of actual drums. And then it hits a hip hop section. Which then it goes back to more of a punk feel. Very confused on that one. Not gonna lie to you. So we'll see how long that lasts. The Linda Lindas. They dropped a new song, too many things. I just like their rhythm. The Baby Panda by AJJ. This is what the other one I was telling you about. Lyrically, I think this fits a punk vibe pretty well. Basically just talking about how humans destroy the earth. So then we got the new Dropkick Murphy song with the Violet Femmes. Uh, Gotta go, gotta get to peak skill, which I've only heard a few times, but not too bad. (laughs) Acid Lord by No Trigger. been digging that album and that's a little bit older as well that's last year august so yeah that one no trigger won't stay in very for maybe a month or two more um free spirits bad attitude there's a little flow to that i'm not gonna lie this is a little bit more punkish than Crystallize from Samian. I'm really digging this one, though. I Really Hate You by Home Street Home. The cast? I haven't actually. Yeah, cast. Okay. Home Street Home cast. beat rhythm to it as well doesn't matter much now by grade two this i felt was interesting give me an 80s vibe No motivation by Knife Club. Angry in Angry Youth Elite. Um, Cold outside. has a nice little feel to it as well and this one's on the edge of hardcore so i'm not sure about this one safety is the problem by brassic and this came out safety is the problem but it kind of came off more as melodic hardcore there's a nice rhythm to it All right, guys, so that is my Discover New Punk List as of right now. And if you guys like this idea um, about the updating and whatnot, I will make sure to do that. I run a Pop Punk Discover, if you're into that, a Core Discover with a uh, them doing a crossover with another content creator because I don't listen to as much heavy stuff as I used to. But if you're in that, a little bit heavier, like metalcore, deathcore, that kind of stuff. I got a playlist we're working on for that. Um, and we'll be doing updates for those as well. 
like I said, guys, let me know what you prefer for me to do in this. Like if I'm per- showing you guys new music, would you prefer me to sit here and jam out to each song and then kind of tell you why it's in the list? So like I'm kind of like a DJ. Um, do you prefer me just kind of go down the list and break it down like I was doing more towards the end of that video? Or do you want me to play like a good 30, 40 seconds of each song and then break down my thoughts on it and why it's in there and whatnot? Obviously, the songs that are leaving, that's easy enough. Um, I can just state what what's leaving the playlist. And then uh, for the new ones that get added next time, I can go through and, like I said, we'll just kind of do a, a group thing and see what works, see what you guys dig. But I definitely wanted to show this off. I'm, I'm, I'm really wanted to dive more into punk and unfortunately with our time me and chuck doing reactions we couldn't do enough new punk and i really wanted to explore a little bit so i'm avoiding stuff that's in the request list um and just legitly focusing on stuff that we've reacted to or that just came out that probably has no chance of us getting us reacting to or a patreon or a requester to pick that song a lot of these, like I said, are smaller bands. Like, let's see here, Clayface, for example. You got 782 month, monthly listeners. And I think, let's see here. As it doesn't even have the plays registered, so it's under 1,000. I believe that's what that means. Um, Let's look here, Stowaway. Yeah, so if it's under 1,000, I believe, it doesn't show the plays. But what was the other one? Batwolf. You got 332 monthly listeners. So like they're smaller bands, but I thought that might be kind of fun to one, use my platform that we've kind of built um, by checking out this kind of music and, and kind of pay back the community by making a playlist like this, where I'm making sure I continuously update the, the playlist and, feature some smaller bands that might not get the limelight as as much and i mean i'm i'm not saying we have a huge following or anything but it feels like the least i could do um so see what you guys think about this idea like i said if you have some ideas or what you prefer i can't guarantee you i'm gonna follow those but i would love to hear them all right guys if you guys want to see my discover new punk playlist that's right in the comments down below so make sure you go down there and check her out Make sure you do me a solid and hit that heart up there at the top. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. (laughs) Until next time.